Hello everybody and welcome back to our brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, Full Symmetry, and today we have a cool episode. There's a bit of a clue in my hotbar right now as to what we are doing. It's going to be somewhere out here. I would point towards where I will be looking, um, but probably shouldn't because spoilers, although you guys will probably know by the title of the video, yet again, what we're building and also by looking at my hotbar. This is a big clue, so I am excited today. It is going to be a fun one. We did one of these projects last season, and I did it quite late in the... Well, actually, maybe not so quite quite late in the season. We did it when we built a mini game, and with that mini game, I can't even remember what it was called, but basically, the I remember the song was very much related to the name of the mini game it was like sort of a pun on the name or some kind of like joke i don't even know it was it was funny though and i really thought it was a really nice touch and added something now since we haven't got any mini games on the server just yet i thought i would make a note block song for myself and for my base right now we're gonna need a lot of wood though as you can see I don't actually know how many note blocks we're going to be using, but I don't think it's that much of a problem if we basically make too many. I think I'm going to make up to what I have in my inventory right now with the wood, and um, and then just make some more if I need some, because I don't want to waste all of my wood on making these. That's one and a half stacks, pretty much. And uh, basically we're making a song that relates to another part of our base, which, I mean, to be honest, should be obvious, but hey, I'm not going to tell you guys anyway. So, like I say, I've got a bit of digging to do because I need an actual place to put the note block song. And, um, yeah, I'll bring you guys back when we start hopefully placing stuff in. But, I don't know, I'm going to sneak somewhere in base, hide underground, dig out a hole, and uh, basically be a massive hermit for the episode. Well, it's pointless me even trying to pretend where I am. So we're obviously in the other caving area. I'm not even going to say what the song is. You guys already must know. Possibly. Actually, no, I think I found out during the Abba Caving comments that not everybody knows why it's called Abba Caving. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you're that interested and you still don't know, I'm sure the comments will say at some point. You can probably go searching. But um, you can probably wait till the episode. And it will become clear at some point Anyway, so I'm doing this obviously because I want to do some more advocating and I want there to be a little extra something for the winner. Basically the idea is I want the winner to be able to click a button and for some music to play when they win. So they can sort of rub the, you know, it in the other person's face a little bit, you know? Uh, speaking of which, uh, Vintage Beef is on, who who apparently uh, came up with the advocating idea. I don't remember it that far back, if I'm honest. I remember playing it, but I never really knew like where it came from and stuff like that so i don't know at some point maybe near the end perhaps as like a finale episode of an abba caving or something i don't know maybe maybe he'll be interested in doing it uh, at some point earlier i will have to do it with beef at some point maybe who knows who knows i'm not planning that far ahead but um yeah abba caving is a super fun thing and i i do want to as i've said before play it with as many hermits as possible but also spread it out so i'm not just doing multiple a week like i have already done. Anyway, I need to get some stuff which I've completely forgot what it is. Oh no, I need to get make myself a beacon because I am th down there digging away like crazy and I don't seem to have any iron. I'm going to have to head to someone's iron farm. I don't have any. Where's my iron? I don't have any. Dang it. Okay, that and a beacon. I uh, know we should be set because digging is taking a long while otherwise because we need quite a bit of space. Well, what do you know it? Uh, ZF knows where a, uh, an iron farm is, obviously, I guess Tango's one, which I remembered, it was in my head, but I don't know how to get to it. Um, but yeah, he said he had to fly, so he's gonna, he's gonna go get me some iron. That's so nice of him. Thanks, ZF, I will have to repay you with... I don't have anything, <laughs> but, uh, whenever I have something, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to owe him something. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna wait around for ZF to appear from somewhere who knows i'm guessing he's flying here as well who who even knows i don't know he's a he's a crazy flying fool but um we shall uh, wait for the iron and then do a bit more digging but in the meantime i think what i will do is work on something else i haven't decided yet i don't know there must be something to do <laughs> i was afk and i heard some noises <laughs> oh my goodness is enough here thank you is that enough for a beacon? Not, not quite. Um, 
I, I, you know what? Don't worry about it. Zed up. Thank you. Thank, thank you. He's now just, he's now just staring at me. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the the compliment too. I don't, I don't have anything, any payment. Um, I might borrow some iron from a beacon. In fact, you know what? I've just thought I've got a beacon down there, which I need to actually pinch anyway. But this will save me so much time digging iron blocks up. I absolutely hate having to do that and having to to move beacons around. And um, yeah, there we go. That'll be payment. ZF, I can give you a tour. I'll give you a tour, dude. I mean, I'm not sure it was the last very good payment, but it's payment nonetheless. Huzzah! We have a beacon of awesomeness. Oh my goodness. I, uh, yeah. I just about had enough iron, which was cool. Uh, there's also a couple of blocks of gold. But anyway, back down here, as you can see, we've been a bit busy digging. We did all of this without a beacon, so I can now just... Oh man, look. It's like butter. It's like digging through butter. It's amazing. Best thing ever. It's so much more entertaining to dig with Instamine. Like, look at this. Like, look at this right here. Ooh, it's all gone. It's all gone. Rip. Rip the land. It's all gone. Anyway, I need to dig out a smaller area up here, which I think is about, what have I written down? 11 by 35. So 11 about there. I think it's a bit longer. Uh, about 35 there. Um, it's also going back into this way a little bit because I need to basically make it so that you can definitely hear it from up here I don't mind if it like fades out the music around the edge a little bit But I definitely want you to be able to hear it from within that room up there So there's that which is going to be the chorus and then the background is going to be down here I'm hoping they're not going to be too Clashy like I don't want them to be I want this one to be a bit like quieter which I think it should be I think it should be from up here, hopefully. I don't know, I don't think it'll matter. We can always move it down if we need to in the future. But anyway, uh, we've got a lot of digging to do, so BRB. Well, we have accidentally installed some um, skylights while we've been down here. <laughs> because I'm building it so close to the surface there. Gravel has fallen on my head, and I can't really replace it. Well, I can. I think what I'm going to have to do is just replace it all with stone and hope it still looks okay from above. And um, maybe put some of the gravel into the walls, so there still is gravel in the design, just just not on the floor directly above this. Because, well, it's not going to work, is it? Can't have gravel falling on top of the note blocks or anything like that. Anyway, looking good, we've got quite a lot of progress done. Just got a little bit more uh, up here, and then we've got the whole bottom layer. In my live stream just now, I have done a little bit of work, not an awful lot because it started getting a bit complicated for me to be able to read the chat, plus also do everything else. So this is the top layer here. We have figured out how to power both layers at the same time, just with this button. We'll obviously continue this up and through the wall and somewhere where we want a button or something. It doesn't really matter. We can move that, uh, I guess, power elsewhere when we want it. Uh, but basically what I have done is set up all of these along here, all these along here, all these along here. Now, the only thing that actually is tuned and correct are the repeaters. The repeaters are wonderful, they're in the perfect position, they're all on two ticks along here. Uh, we've got lots of four ticks and then a two tick at the end. Same on that end and then I think all of these are pretty much either four ticks or two, or two ticks. Um, so I've done all that. I haven't done this though. These are completely in just like the, uh, oh but I kind of forgot there were holes underneath them. But yeah, they're basically in the just, you know, the classic, the classic noise, the note that they play. Um, yeah, there's a hole underneath all of them because uh, I believe you can now change the sounds of these even more. In 1.12 they've, they've added basically some new sounds and the one that I think we're gonna use is packed ice. I really like how it sounds. Um, basically, it makes a bit of a like a flute noise. So let me quickly show you guys a bit of a an example before we actually have anything done. And also, this is as far I got to, uh, the bottom one. This one kind of goes up there, comes back this way, goes up again. And I think it comes back again as well. So four times, basically four rows of two. I think I haven't double checked, but something something as crazy as that. So I think we put the ice there, right, on that first note block. So now if I tap it. It sounds like a chime. Now I can change this and I might possibly change it to the flute. I've heard from other people that the flute might be best. Uh, and I should actually also, right this second, quickly thank TrackKing25 for coming up with this. Now I don't know if he's going to have a tutorial on his channel, but I will link his channel 
down below. He was the one that helped me out with making this. He's a patron of mine, a massive supporter of my channel, and uh, just a great guy. So definitely check him out. His link will be down below, and uh, he's the one that kind of showed me that you can have new sounds as well. So thank you for that, dude. Hopefully I make this correct and we don't have any issues that I have to uh, uh, ask you for some more help. But uh, yeah, everything's working and this should hopefully sound really good. So I'm going to finish up this and then have to, I'll have to go back all the way through all of them to actually tune the note blocks as well. And fingers crossed it all works. Okay, guys, so I'm going to break that right there for now. We'll leave it down there. Moment of truth, I've unplugged this side of it, although that does mean that I now need to move the button, which seems to disappear. Now, there it is. Good. Don't want that connected right there. We'll leave that like a so. And hopefully, you guys should be able to see or hear... Let's turn it up for you guys. Uh, the note blocks. Let me make sure my note block song is as high as possible. There we go. It might be quite loud, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. It works. Perfect. I've broken it so the loop won't go around again. Brilliant. Now, I want to quickly go and put loads of packed ice underneath it and hear what it sounds like again and we will have a vote at the end whether or not we want it to sound like this or if we want to sound it like the packed ice makes it sound but let me quickly go around and do this it shouldn't take very long and we'll listen to that and then we'll fiddle down here because oh my goodness i need a break from placing down note blocks because they just look like such a mess if you don't know what order they're in it's kind of ridiculous right where are the other ones okay ready to click it again let's go Oh, very pretty. Wonderful. Very, very tinny. But uh, we can always change it out. It's very, very easy. But now I've got the packed ice underneath there. I can change it out whenever I like. And this is the one that I want to change the actual sound of, which means there's a lot less. So I can swap that out with whatever I want. I've got a lot of work to do, as you can see now. This is, like, regrets right, right down here, but... It's going to hopefully sound cool. Okay, guys, it is actually the moment of truth time. I didn't realize we were so close, but I've just double checked it all. There was one repeater out the whole lot, which I've just broken that one as well. But um, yeah, one repeater that, that I, did, I did try it. I, I usually don't. I like to try it firstly on camera, but there was one. I was like, you know what? I'll try it. It sounded off. I was like, you know what? I bet there's a repeater. And there was only one. I thought I'd done like a whole section. Anyway. Let's, moment of truth, and let's make sure that you guys can hear it before I click that, because otherwise I'm not recording it again, because I haven't heard it properly working. I'm thinking it should work perfectly. <gasps> it's so intense. It should be working. Fingers crossed. It should be all set up now so you guys can hear this clearly. Hopefully it might be a little bit quiet, but... Oh, I'm so scared. I'm going to click it. Three, two, one. Ah. Mistakes are made. That is the that is the wrong one. Wrong button. Wrong button. Reset. Reset. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Second attempt. I clicked the wrong button. I'm hoping this is all connected. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Let's go now. Oh, yeah. And then I quite like it going around just with this, for like the second second loop, because the bottom one doesn't have a loop currently, so it kind of just ends there. But um, yeah, that, that sounded really really great. That sounded really really great. I'm so happy with that, guys. Let me know if there's anything you think I can do to change it up, make it sound a little bit better, perhaps. I don't know. I, I quite like the sound of it. And I'm going to guess we can hear it from up here. We'll have to click the button again. I think what I can do is actually, if I just get rid of... This is the right level, right? Yeah, if I get rid of that, get rid of one of those. And if I click the button, then I go up. If you'd only play once. Yeah, you can hear it up here. Eh? 
Yeah, so um, occasionally the server lag will catch up and make the that the kind of beat down down below on the lower level sound a bit weird. You could also hear it very if you were listening closely to when I was just playing this. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with that, and you can hear it from above, which is perfect. It is so so good. All I need to do now is obviously connect them up so that it's you know just a button up there. Maybe I'll get someone to help me with it, or uh, we'll fiddle. I don't know. We'll, f we'll find some way of doing it. Um, that works, but um, I don't need it desperately. I'm not planning on doing an Abbey Caving for a few more days perhaps or, or a week or so So I'll have enough time to fiddle around with that, but the actual thing is there. It's working. It's lovely. It's perfect It's great. It sounds really really good, and uh, it is the winner takes it all It is the chorus of course to the Abbey Caving song basically um, It's got to be the Abbey Caving song, right? You can't you can't have a different song for Abba Caving than that. I mean, it is basically named after it. Cool. Oh, by the way, guys, I totally forgot to tell you about something that happened in my live stream. I am so excited about it. Look! I don't have cats on the ship anymore. We have birds. We found four parrots. Two of each kind. The green and the cyan parrots. Why enough was there a cat noise? Oh, is it you guys? Is it literally you? Are you, not, are you that close to the cats over there that you're making cat noises? Really? Really? They're so adorable. Okay, I just turn your volume down so you guys didn't have them too loud. Just just remember there's a cat over here. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Anything down here? Anything down here? We still good down here? I need to I need to I need to fix those chests, they look terrible. But uh, I need to actually figure out a place for me to put these guys. And also because I do plan on having a sort of pirate uh, pirate shop? No, not a pirate shop, false. A parrot shop of, of sorts, or like a pet shop. Uh, not necessarily to actually buy four more for decor, I guess, when I get some spare parrots. Um, I will, I think I'm going to take them all in pairs and have the pairs of parrots. And then any extras of certain colours can go in the little pa uh, parrot pet shop thing here. What a mouthful. Say parrot pet shop ten times fast. Go ahead, I dare you. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I, well, I want to put them in there. So what I'm going to do is actually head into a single play world for a little bit and see if I can figure out a way to put parrots in like a sort of cage that doesn't look too weird. Because I, I guess I, on here I won't put them in there just yet because I haven't got a spare just yet. And I don't really fancy at 10pm at, at night going to the flipping... Um, jungle and getting lost and having that hassle again. We'll go back in another live stream sometime soon It's like 6,000 blocks away though, so it takes a little while to get there But um, yeah, that is the plan. Oh my goodness when I wander around here I see just how much work I've got left to do. It is ridiculous. I will have to either get some hermits help or um, Just do a lot more building in live stream. I need to be inspired I need to be in the right mood, but man at some point this will look cool and we also, I guess, need to figure out what else is going on in other places, because holy flip, this area is so flat still, it's like a giant football field. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So I was going to record a little bit more, as you guys know, but oh my goodness, my eyes are so itchy right now, and I'm looking at a bright screen late at night, and... Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's a good idea, so I'm actually going to wrap up the video now, which I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do a shorter video, but dang it, I want to rub my eyes so badly. <laughs> I think I'm going to go to bed, because it's late as well. I don't think I don't think that's a good combination, both itchy eyes and tiredness, and just, I don't know, all around bad stuff for making videos generally. Yeah, like right now I'm blinking my eyes like a, a million times, like trying to itch them by blinking. But I'm so excited by the whole project so far. It's looking really, really great. Also, guys, I definitely need ideas for you from from you right now in the comments down below. And let me know what sort of sculpture-y, uh, what, what what is it for the Alium Alliance? Sort of what does she want? Some sort of shrine? Uh, I don't know what to build for it. I was I was trying some stuff out, which I was going to show you guys, but then I was like, no, it all looks terrible. Um, so um, yeah, maybe that's maybe it's my hay fever. I I was around alliums too much. Um, but yeah, I, I need to make some sort of shrine. Where is the book? I think I left it upstairs. Yeah, here it is. Here is the book. So let's open it up. Uh, it says blah 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 blah. You must make a small shrine to the sacred allium of gorgeousness in your base. Now, what I'm thinking is I want it to be a little bit Beauty and the Beast, uh, a flower surrounded by glass, 
Uh, well, an allium, I say a flower. Pfft, not just any any flower, come on now, it's got to be an allium. Um, surrounded by pink glass or something, and then like spread out from there. Now, I don't want it to be too big. Maybe as big as this, like this is like five by five, max, if you can. Like a nice little bit of detail, you can possibly use these if you need to, or... Or any of this Allium Alliance stuff here. Maybe not the sheep's head. <laughs> Maybe not the sheep's head. We're not going back to that drama. But um, but yeah, let me know down below. Send me screenshots on Twitter. At Full Symmetry is my handle on there. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Because I want to make one ASAP. Because otherwise I feel like it's been a little while since uh, Stress asked me. And that is no good. Anyway, that is it guys for this episode. Leave a like if you didn't enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.